Today I am making a sun-dried tomato jelly. Why would I ever make that recipe? Well, anytime I see a recipe that asks for tomatoes and balsamic vinegar and basil, I think, oh, that sounds really good. I've never done this recipe before, so I decided to try something new today. It's dark, it's dreary, it's raining. Why not make a new recipe? I did make a couple substitutions, and I know that I always say stick to the recipe, stick to the recipe, but it's just changes that I consider uh, that are probably acceptable, safe changes. One of them is that the recipe asked for two dried chili peppers, and I can't find that anywhere here in any grocery store, so I'm going to substitute that for dried crushed red chili peppers. and. Another thing that I'm substituting for is the tomatoes. So this calls for seven cups of plum tomatoes cored and, and kind of coarsely chopped up, but I still have tomatoes canned in my cabinet from last summer. I don't want those to go to waste, so I started by going to grab two of those bottles to make my recipe with. Now the rest is really simple. All we need to do is throw all the ingredients inside of a pot. So let's get going. To our saucepan, we are going to add here two teaspoons of red crushed chili peppers, a quarter cup of dried basil, one third of a cup of balsamic vinegar, ten coarsely chopped sun-dried tomatoes, not packed in oil. It is very specific. The recipe says to not get them packed in oil. And finally, your tomatoes. Just give this a good stir. It already smells great. Now we bring this over to the stovetop, bring it to a boil on medium heat, and let this simmer for 30 minutes, just infusing all those great flavors together. So our mixture has to boil for 30 minutes. Once that 30 minutes are up, we need to let it sit for 15 minutes, again, just to let all those flavors combine. Then we're gonna prepare the next step. We need to prepare a cheesecloth and a colander to let this drip. We're gonna let it drip for around 30 minutes. We need about two cups of that mixture clear because we're making a jelly. I don't know if I stated that, but we're making a jelly. We need it to be clear. So you're going to prepare a few layers of cheesecloth inside of a colander just so we can pour that in when it's done and let this drain. I sometimes put a bowl in the bottom of my bowl to sit the colander on top if it's too deep. Stir your mixture. And if you used fresh tomatoes, you can be sure to try to crush that down a little bit as well. This has boiled for 30 minutes, sit for 15, now time to drain this. Be careful, it's hot, but it smells so good. So we let this drain for at least 15 to 30 minutes. I have collected two cups of the liquid. I am going to return that to the same saucepan, cleaned of course, and then we bring this back over to the stovetop and bring it to a boil. Now it's time to make the jelly. Now while I wait for this to come to a boil, I'm going to increase the heat or turn on the heat on my canner. We are going to be steam canning this, or you can water bath this if you don't have a steam canner. And I have my jars inside my canner warming up. Once this comes to a boil, we are going to be adding the lemon juice and the sugar, bringing that up to a boil. And then we are going to be adding liquid pectin. So the recipe calls for 177 milliliters of liquid pectin. This strangely came in two pouches and there's 170 milliliters. So we're gonna hope that that's gonna do the trick. I don't know if you caught it at the beginning. I took it out of the video when I was uh, you know, edit, doing all the editing. Uh, the lemon juice did not go at the beginning. I mixed all the ingredients together in the pot at the beginning except for the sugar and the pectin, but I did put the lemon juice in. So that was a mistake on my part. The lemon juice did not go at the beginning. It goes at the end. So I'm going to add another half cup of lemon juice. I don't think it's going to make a difference. There's five cups of sugar in this and I just want to make sure my, my, my recipe is safe. And so I'm going to add another half cup of lemon juice at this stage, like the recipe said, and I should have done right from the beginning.
boil this for one minute. And then you're going to add your liquid pectin all at once. Once you've added your liquid pectin, you need to let this come back to a hard boil and you boil it for one minute. It has to be a boil that you can't stir down. Like when you're you're stirring it, it's still boiling really hard like you see here. So now we time this one minute. Keep a close eye because it can sometimes try to boil over. If you have some foam on top, just try to skim the foam off the top. I don't find that there's too much, but there is a little bit. Sometimes I find it's a little easier to skim it once it's settled just a little bit, but don't let your don't let it sit too long because then you'll have jelly in a pot. All right, let's get this in the jars. I am going to go get my warm jars from my canner. I'm using the 250 milliliter, the half pint jars. So let me go get those. All right, let's get this jam into these jars. You want to fill your jars leaving one quarter inch head space. I think it's already starting to gel. At the side of the measuring cup. It's all gelling to the cup. It's a good sign. It smells incredible. I know I say that often, but this really smells nice and it's such a pretty color. Once you've filled your jars, you're going to make sure to clean the rim off well with water. This makes sure that your caps seal properly to your jars. Add your caps on top. Your rings fingertip tight. And you're gonna transfer these over to your canner and just continue filling the rest of your jars. I have ended up with five jars of the sun-dried tomato jelly. It looks incredible. I think it's gonna gel because if you get a good look at my measuring cup, it's quite a mess and it's all gelled on it. So that's good. I do have some left over here that I will taste in, in a little bit. Let it cool down a little bit, but uh, it seems to be gelling nicely. So now it's time to process these jars. So I had them in my steam canner. I've turned up the heat. I'm going to place the cover on top and bring this up to temperature. A steam canner works a little bit like a pressure canner. Uh, you do have to bring it up to a certain temperature before you start timing, but it's so simple, it's, it's not like a, a pressure canner, so don't be, don't be intimidated by that. We're gonna bring this up to the correct temperature for the altitude. Once I achieve that temperature, I'm going to time this for 10 minutes. Once the 10 minutes is over, we leave everything in the pot with the cover on for another five minutes before removing the jars. I have ended up with five perfect jars of this sun-dried tomato jelly. I already expect that I'm going to be opening a jar for supper and pouring this on top of some chicken and maybe adding like an onion soup mix to it just to kind of balance out the sweetness with a little bit of savory. Uh, I think it's going to be great. But I'm confident that it's going to gel because I have a little bit left over here and as you can see it's an absolutely beautiful color. It's like in a light orangey and the flavor, mm. so nice. And I didn't ruin it with the extra lemon juice. Oh, I really get that kick of the uh, of the uh, hot the uh, red crushed chili peppers as well. So there is still a little bit of a, a kick to it, even if I didn't add the uh, dried hot peppers. So that's great. 
So as usual, you can keep this stored in a cool, dry, dark environment uh, for up to a year. Be sure to remove the rings once the 24 hours have passed. Once your jars have set for 24 hours, don't move them around, leave them there. And then remove your rings. After that, store them well. Right on top, the year that you made it and what's inside the jar because when you do a lot of canning, things start to look, look all the same. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy my content. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. Don't be shy. Hit that subscribe button. And be sure to check back again soon to see what other content I will have coming out.